In this video, we'll see how to create ocean water material and set up a dramatic lighting. So let's start. Create a plane and add an ocean modifier. Set X, Y to 5. Resolution to 15. This will add a nice detail in the water and make it look realistic. Change the size to 0.35. Go to waves and change the scale to 0.7. Sharpiness to 2.2 and assign a driver to the time by typing in hash frame slash 24. Now play in the timeline and you will see the water animating. Now let's create the water material. Create a new material, name it water, go to shader editor, make the roughness to 0 0.003, transmission to one. And to add some micro details on water surface, let's add noise texture and a bump node, correct factor to height and normal to normal. Change the noise scale to 35 and the strength to 0 0.05. Now let's go to world properties and select sky texture. In shader editor, change it to world. Reduce the strength to 0.5, sun intensity to 0.5, elevation to 90 degree, rotation to 35 degree, air to 0.5, and dust to 0.6. So right now the sun disk is not available, so let's change to cycles. Now let's add a color ramp to make the sky look blue. Select the white slot and make it blue. Now add an environment texture and add a mix shader. And let's connect. So as you can see that we have 50% of the sky and 50% of the HDRI environment. So let's reduce the factor to 0.01 so that the blue color can dominate. Now let's add a curve to make the sun pop out of the scene. So we'll form an S curve, something like this. Now let's create some volume fog to add some more realism. To create a cube and assign a material, delete the principal BSDF and assign volume scatter. Connect it to the volume node, change the density to 0 0.01 and drop it to 0 0.6. Change the color to a light green and now let's make the water color to a dark blue. Shift and right click on the sun to move the 3D cursor over there and let's create a point light which will act as a sun. Change the color to match the sun color and let's increase the power to 1000 watts. And there you go, we have a nice dramatic ocean scene ready to be rendered. I hope I showed you all the steps in as simple way as possible and I hope you liked the video. So see you in the next one.